first trip proper in the new motorhome in Thor. So we've been trying to decide what to call this tour, haven't we? Yeah. I came up with Thor's first tour. Yeah. Which, <laughs> which I suppose which it is. is. Yeah, I couldn't, thought that would that would do, and you yeah. said no. Yeah. And now I think you've come round to it, haven't you? Yeah, that's Either what it that is. Either that or Thor's advent tour. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're not particularly Christmassy yet, are we, so? No. Uh, no. Now, no. we're on our way to Knaresborough, and uh, we're going to meet up with posh cats. So we wanted we wanted a trip away. We were going to just go to Southport and uh, you know make sure everything works. But uh, posh cats said they were at Knaresborough, and would we like to meet up? So we're going to meet up there. We're going to try the bis bistro, the bistro at yeah. uh, Knaresborough on-site bistro so that'd be quite good um, and we're looking forward to that so we've got everything sort of set up here now we've got the sat nav on the um, on the dashboard yep yeah and we've got poppy with us we've got the car with us somewhere. we've got the car with us yeah there it is yeah behind us and it i'm just thinking that this van this motorhome seems quieter than our previous motorhome. I don't really know why. It is basically the same vehicle, but it seems a bit smoother. And I think it tows a bit better as well. It's a bit easier towing, towing the car. And uh, I suppose that's because it's lighter weight, a lighter chassis. Mm. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's good. Enjoying it. Yep. So, so I made the intelligent comment that everything's new in here, didn't I? I said everything's new in here. <laughs> apart from Mrs. Satnag, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, most things are new, apart from <laughs> Mrs. Satnag. But I'm really pleased with that. I can't yeah, say how no, pleased that I am. That fits really it fits nicely really on that well, little it? Um, yeah. thing. Our old van didn't have this tablet holder thingy. No. And uh, yeah, that works really well. Right, so, so we're going to go up the M62, up the A1, and go to Knaresborough that way. Yeah. We thought of going via Harrogate, both A59, but yeah. it took so long to get through Harrogate last time, didn't it? Yeah, I know. So um, this so, is our first trip, and it's our first trip. Just wanted to know we were going to get there all right. Okay then. So. Yeah. Catch up with you later. Catch up with you later. All right. See you then. After 0.6 miles, exit the highway at exit 47. Um, 
little caravan symbol, isn't there? Yeah. Right, on to B6165. Yeah, I think once we came up here, there were some roadworks, weren't there, right on this yeah. corner? Yeah. Prepare to turn right after 1.5 miles. Yeah, got to watch your wing mirrors here. Yeah. Okay after Sorry? But it's okay after that bit, isn't it? Yeah. Right, Helpful brown sign. Actually it's not for this side, it's for another one. Sorry? It's for another side, <laughs> yeah, is it? Yeah, it's just Take one and a half right miles. This is our one, 50 yards. Yeah. You have reached your destination on the right. There's some building work there. More houses. Yeah. All forward to the barrier. She only two blue pigs in yeah. the whole site. Yep. So can we see our friends? And if so, do we want park miles away? <laughs> There's a blue peg there. We're not on a blue peg. No, I know. Them up there, isn't it? Well, they might be in the service pitches then. Yeah. Are they service pitches up there? Then? Some of them are, yeah. The, these on the right are all service pitches. Are they? Yeah. So unless That's there's the something else. Opposite them. Do you want to go there then? Yeah, that'll do. Near the playground? Yeah, but we're not. Uh, not the height of the season, is it? Nice place to put the car on the back <laughs> as well. 61. Yeah, it's really muddy <laughs> down there. Right. Tap's a little bit leaky. But at least with this app, you can actually see how much water you've got on board. Drawer's been really handy. Just 
lagging a little bit behind the actual filling, but yeah, 100% full. That's where the bistro is there. Just on the end of the reception block round, isn't it? I can't remember if we've filmed this before. We have, haven't we? Yeah, because we came here with Glyn, didn't we? Oh. Um, we had a meal in the bistro, but it was a really, really wet day. Yeah. to let us in and out. It's, it lets you in, you don't need it to go out. Oh, right, okay. Sufficient, there's the bistro. We're going there tonight. Yep. It's very um, seasonal. And we're just going to be up here next to Trevor and Sue, and Joe and Sheila. Poppy's gone off for a walk with yeah, him, hasn't she? taking Poppy off for a, for yeah, a walk. Yeah, didn't think she was going to go. And, uh, and then she's and like, oh, old, yeah. yeah. These humans are as good as any. Walk, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with them. Right, I'm just going to get hooked up, and I'm just going to show you the way that the Caravan Club recommend that you get hooked up. And first thing is, on your power unit, is find the the mains thing here and switch off the RCD device that's the isolator so that isolates the van and get your cable get that plugged in first then unroll the cable and then get take this end to the plug to the to the bollard tidy the cable up a bit Get it out of the way. And we'll just tuck it underneath the van. It's out of the way. Go back into the van. I don't know why I'm bringing this in here because that lives outside now. Bit, isn't it? Habit, yeah. And then lift this up, and then you can switch the electrics on. Simply by doing that, you just want to check some of the lights there. The green light is the charger that says that's on. The orange light is just that the unit's on. What you don't want are any uh, other lights. There's a one light there. That would indicate reverse polarity, which you sometimes get on European sites. So what would light what colour would that be then? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Can't ask those questions. I think it'd be red. It'd be red, so it'd probably flash. It just means that the it's polarity is reverse. It's not a cause for concern unless you actually work on any appliances. It just means that the live and neutral are switched over. You can get adapters that swap them over. But other than that, that's basically how you connect the electric up. No, no, it's come on because the microwave always beeps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we know. Traditional method of knowing the electric's on is the microwave's on. I had a long debate with Glyn about <laughs> hooking up electrics. And uh, Glyn asked me, why do it that way? Why switch it, the, um, the breaker off and then come back in and switch it on? Seems a lot of faffing about. I suppose the answer really is if you plug the electric 
into the van and you're outside the van perhaps doing the water or doing something else or chatting to someone you might not notice if this other electrical appliances have actually come on so if you had a fire in here for instance you might not know it's on or perhaps someone's left a hairdryer plugged in and you'll be outside messing about but the thing that strikes me as most dangerous is we put this mat over here and just imagine if we'd left the electric hot plate on and I plugged it in outside yeah yeah what would happen I know. I'd be chatting away outside yeah because it would have cooled down as you traveled along but yeah. as soon as you, the electric came on yeah that would come on yeah yeah, yeah. And the other important thing to mention is always plug the, the van side in before you plug in to the bollard. You don't want to be wandering about with an electric cable that's live. No. And uncoil it for goodness sake. Uh, pe uh, coil, coil, coils have caught fire because they've been too tightly coiled up on a, on a reel and someone's had an electric fire going using a lot of electricity and it's overheated and caught fire. So don't do that. Onto the panel. We know we've got power, leisure battery. Taking three, three amps for solar, vehicle battery, selected leisure battery. What we really want to do is get the heating sorted out there. So heating is on gas at the moment. We'll put it on electric, turn the gas off. And I think we'll have it on 21. And just look at the fridge. And the fridge interestingly says it's warm. And that's because we've been going along on 12 volts. Obviously when you're driving it's on 12 volts. And although 12 volts tries to keep the fridge cool, I don't think it does, usually does a very good job. So I think I might just turn the fridge up a little bit to get it properly cool it's on auto. Is that your effort for Christmas? Well, no, we've got, a, we've got a tree somewhere. Oh, we've got a tree up there, haven't we? I'm not quite sure where to put it yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, major jaw rack with the shower <laughs> is these doors. We normally put Poppy's crate, Poppy's crate, in the shower <laughs> but uh, for the life of us we can't figure out how to get it in there because it's just too wide to get past the doors isn't it amazing the, the things that you find out yeah because you can't these doors don't go far enough back uh, to allow you get get it in i think what i could do is i could dismantle it and put it in that way because you can ta take this in half you can unclip these clips like that there you are it's come apart now so you put it in there we are poppy's crate in the shower <laughs> that, that's where that huge garage in the malibu came in wasn't it because yeah put a crate in, in the garage and it was just right. lost in there wasn't it yeah it was yeah, yeah. But, but i keep saying this but it's every van we've had uh, we've borrowed we've owned yeah there's always been something different with them isn't yeah. there and you don't find out no, no. until you actually use it i think the bathroom is slightly narrower yeah because they made the beds longer longer the beds are longer gotta yeah. make the difference up yeah. somewhere haven't they yeah that's right but we have got these wonderful lounges haven't we yeah we have tuck that in yeah and it's really really hot, it's hot. so you've got your big coat i've got my great big coat on and what's the heat in say it says it's 21 in here it actually says 24 so it's set to 21 it's on 24 Actual temperature is 24. Oh, turn the coat off. Let's see lights at the back. Yeah. That still seems quite dark in this little yeah. bit here. Yeah. It's a bit brighter here. Yeah, it's probably because this is so bright. Yeah. I think they have lights on. I bet they have tables out here in the summer, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. I think we were here in the summer. I think they'll switch this light off now. Right. 
You coming in? Yeah, go on. Uh, off you go. <laughs> Hang on, pops. Yeah. Right, I've got the risotto. The risotto is quite popular. Yes, you've got there is four risottos on Trev's the go. Trev's got the belly, belly pork. pork. Oh, yeah. cool. Look at Joe's chunky chips on, they've got the skins on. Jo yeah, Joe's done well with the chips. They're nice, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Scampy. Yeah. Yeah, so it's quite quiet in here tonight. But we're going to enjoy this now, aren't we? So I'd already started. You've started, haven't you? <laughs> it's got to be the cheese board. Jenny's Lemon already tart. started on. Sorry, you started <laughs> again. Yeah. Look at that. Look at carrot. That. <laughs> that's, carrot cake. that's carrot cake for Trev. <laughs> and you're Jenny being very good, Joe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poppy's struggling to keep her eyes open there. She's been for quite a long walk with the posh cats earlier today. We've had a nice meal at the bistro. And uh, so that's it for this little video. Uh, we're going to go into Knaresborough tomorrow, have a little look around, perhaps go to the castle, have a little wander around. Uh, so if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. And we'll catch up with you tomorrow when we've spent first night in our nice new bedroom. See you soon. Bye then. And we've got a name for the car, have we? No. Apart from art. Up. Oh. <laughs>